I just broke it. Hi Artsy Crafty people, how are you today? In this video, I'm going to be testing the Xyron Create a Sticker Machine. Actually two of them. This wide version where you can create stickers up to five inches and I also have a mini version where you can create stickers up to an inch and a half. And the reason that I decided to get these Xyron products is because of you guys. So if you don't know, if you're maybe new to my channel, uh, welcome, by the way. Um, I do have a craft kit testing series where I test a lot of random craft kits. <laughs> I swear I explained them better than I am explaining this intro. I happened to test a Crayola sticker maker. Granted, this one was geared toward children. It was, spoiler alert, not the greatest, but it was really interesting. So if you wanna watch that, I'll link it in the description box along with my entire craft kit testing playlist. Today though, I'm going to be unboxing and testing both of these products giving a demo, <laughs> my autofocus. I'll be giving a demo of both of them and just kind of showing you how to make the stickers, how to use the, the machines. Yeah. I also went ahead and bought both types of refill adhesive for the two machines. Um, let me get some scissors and we'll get into this. The famous oil spill scissors. Oh, ow. Ooh, it's really bright. Here it is. It looks really official. I'm excited to try it out. Let's uh, take a look at the little one first. This one's shaped like an X. There are so many different things that you can turn into a sticker, such as a doodle or drawing, some sort of printout. These are just emojis from some past video I've done. Magazine clippings, you can take sticky notes and cut a shape, like make this into a star, that would be really cool. Also, scrap of paper. These have quotes on them. I also want to create another personalized doodle for this video, so really quickly, let's just do that first and then I'll show you how everything works. And also, if you didn't see this video yet, I just, made a giant Sharpie canvas artwork thing. Just gonna do a fun doodle with some Crayola Super Tips markers and I'm basically just going to make petal shapes and kind of do like a mandala design. And I am doing this on cardstock paper just so the sticker is a little bit thicker than regular computer printer paper, but you can do it on anything. I cut it out and here is what it looks like. I am going to turn this into a sticker, but I have to first figure out if I need to put it in face up or face down. I believe that this symbol means that the print is on the top, but just to be sure so I don't ruin this, I'm going to put a little scrap in first. We're gonna try this really ugly heart. These are the instructions. Not very big at all. I mean, there's not much to it. Really, it just says the different parts of the machine. You're going to place the item on the feed tray, which is here. Gently glide the item forward while turning the handle clockwise toward me if I'm sitting behind it, away from me if I were to be in front of it. Um, oh gosh, it seems jammed. Oh no, I just broke it. It won't go through. Oh, you just have to turn it really hard. There it goes. The heck? Um, only I could manage to mess this up. Where is it? What the heck happened? It literally vanished. I just wasted all this. Now, the hunt for the missing sticker continues. There it is. I really messed this up. It folded itself. Maybe it's too thick. cartridge. I feel so wasteful. Luckily, I have a replacement, so we get another chance. Fresh, right out the box. So we'll see the other one. And put the lid. 
tracked out. It's good to go. This time, please. Whew, here goes nothing. Oh no, it's doing the thing again where it's like clogged. Shoot. Oh no. Not exactly. Only part of it has adhesive on the back, which is actually a really great adhesive. This is so sticky. We may have to downgrade to the regular thin paper and see if this works. I am not happy about this. This is how I feel, but angrier. So there, this is our next sticker in the groove and wait are you working thank goodness let's see if we can get the cardstock to work though no it worked yay so thin paper and thick paper now let's do some real stickers I'm like let's go Oh no! Oh shoot! <laughs> Oops! All is well. Yikes. And we have a success. I have three successful stickers, and then the first one that I tried, it just has the top part that didn't get the adhesive. So I think the very first turn of the machine, you kind of want to turn it a little bit to start the adhesive to get sticking together, if that makes sense, and then put your piece in. Now let's try the smaller sticker maker, which is the 1.5 inch one. So you can do stickers that are up to this wide right here. Hopefully I don't have issues with this one. Start off with this little star here. I'm going to put it in here. Oh no, it's a little bit thick. Ugh. Now it fits, so I'm just gonna Slide it down in there and pull. Oh yes. Yay, this one worked really nice. So you're supposed to rub it and then peel. Then tear. This one was really easy. So aside from this nonsense, I would highly recommend the sticker maker Maybe this one is a little bit more user-friendly than the giant one, this one, but it's truly amazing that you can create a sticker this big. The only thing about this is the stickers are not protected on the front, so if you want them protected, you would have to use some sort of clear varnish or Mod Podge or put tape over the top of them. Oh, gross! There's hairs all over this, they're mine, but ugh, all carpet fuzz. Someone needs to vacuum. I maybe should have watched some review videos before testing the product, but I wanted to make it fair and just go by the instructions that they gave because that's what a product should have is you should know everything. So Zyron, if you happen to ever see this video, which I doubt, I would recommend maybe putting like some troubleshooting in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely way better than the Crayola sticker maker and definitely really, really easy to use. Use? It, it's really easy to lose. Really easy to use as long as you don't run into this hiccup. So I will still go ahead and recommend this. I just, you know, would be very, very careful on your first roll to make sure that the adhesive is joined to the uh, wax paper like parchment paper type stuff because there's two rolls in here the clear and the white and then just turn it very slowly and if you do hear any like clickies or if you feel it getting caught then then you know something's going wrong if you happen to enjoy this video and you want me to continue testing different craft kits and products 
give this video a thumbs up to let me know. If you are new to my channel and you never want to miss an upload, which happens every single Friday, go ahead and turn notifications on by ringing the bell. And also you can click subscribe to become a channel family member. I'd love to have you. As you can see, this adhesive is really, really sticky. It almost looks like a slug has left its goo behind here. I know that's kind of gross, but I mean, it's really sticky is what I'm trying to get at. It does coat the entire back of the sticker when it works properly, which like I mentioned, it did work properly for the entire second cartridge. That first one just kind of messed up. Uh, well, it really messed up. It stays stuck to the wax paper or sticker backing really, really well. And it also does when you peel it off and put it on a piece of paper like so, it stays down, the corners do not flop up. It's hard to get your fingernail underneath the corners. So I would say that this adhesive is a 10 out of 10. Just a little note, some of the adhesive may be coming out on the sides. That's not coming out from underneath. It was just kind of stuck to the paper and didn't get removed during the rolling process. The exact same thing can be said for the smaller sticker maker, the X shaped one. I believe that this adhesive is up to the same level as the larger sticker maker. machine even though I did rip very close to the edge of the first sticker here you can see that there still is a lot of excess paper that doesn't get used so if you cut right at the edge there's going to be at least an inch between these of sticker paper that essentially gets quote-unquote wasted but this is just how the product is set up I don't think that's something that you can avoid but it's not that big of a deal because you are getting really nice stickers With the repositionable adhesive, you can put that down on the page and if you don't like the placement or you want to move it later on, you can definitely do that. So it comes off really easily, but at the same time, it is stuck to the page quite firmly. I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to get ready for bed. All right, bye. See you next week. There's repositionable. <laughs>